Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, November 26, 2019. This will be check day 16. Check day 15 was a blank, so we moved some traps around. So hopefully today will be a good day as far as on the trap line. Cody wanted to try to fill one of his doe tags, so we come out here this morning, and as you can see behind me, it's been a vacant cornfield all morning, so if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Everyone else returning, thank you so much for your support. It's greatly appreciated. Let's go check some traps. We were at the two sets I put in on Saturday up here on this grassy lane. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, three, three days still untouched. Other ones right there untouched. It's got me wondering because way down there is where I shot my buck on Sunday. And normally a gut pile doesn't last very long, but that one's been untouched, so kind of puzzling but it is what it is we're gonna go check some more traps all right we're over here where the two dog proofs are that one's empty that one's empty all three conum bears are empty nothing messed with his coyote set there but over at this other one, they've been set out, what, over two weeks now, throwing trap here and there. Cody connected on a beautiful red fox. Wasn't expecting that. Not a coyote, but it's a canine. Beautiful, nice front pad catch. Standard dirt hole set, he's got a Bridger number two offset in there. He used uh, Top Dog from Hoosier Trapper Supply, Vixen Elixir from Hoosier Trapper Supply, and of course their Coyote Urine. Just set on the edge, got this corner of this field that borders this cornfield and this woods. And them canine just run these edges. They may not run directly on the edge, but they're not far from it. I'll get him taken care of. Just set remade. Well, if not taken care of, we're gonna get him released. So you're gonna see that here in a minute. Let's get set up and get ready to release it. All right, got the catch pole. All we're gonna do is slip it over this little guy's head, pin him down, and get him out of the trap. It's easier said than done sometimes. Now he's not hurt at all. So I get the trap where I can get on the levers. Male. Limping a little bit, but feeling comes back in that foot, he'll be good to go. I'm running down there in the bottom right now, so. He didn't like this cable around his neck. He wasn't being choked, he was only being detained so I could get that foot out of the trap. But red fox are so thin around here, thanks to these coyotes that we just like releasing them. Hopefully we'll get a steady population of red fox again. Get these coyote numbers down. Plus, 
red fox fur is not really selling in the, in the in the auctions so there's no sense in just taking a life for nothing so let that fox live they'll be breeding here in the next month so hopefully we'll get more fox so all right the fun's over we still got more traps to check so we'll see you when we get to our other sets all right we made it over to cody's beaver set check my two coyote sets on the urban they were empty still got the sets to go check in the creek but beaver said he caught a muskrat so he's got a red fox today and now he's caught a muskrat so we're going to get this one taken care of get the set remade i'm going to go check them ones in the creek stick with us all right everyone that wraps up today's check the one red fox that was released the muskrat and the beaver set that beaver set was a caster mound set with the Duke number four offset on it. Cut that muskrat by the front foot. Checked the coon set in the creek. Caught a possum, so it was dispatched and reset. So, hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you for coming along on the trap line with us. We'll see you in the next video.